Projectors! My name is Wesley Carter 207 and welcome to an unscheduled video. Uh, this is just a random video I just want to make out here. Um, I just want to make out my experience with the, this is after what this is one month after I got the HTC Vive. Um, basically after a month after using this, I have to say it still boggles the mind. <laughs> I have to say that. It, it boggles the mind. That's all I have to say. The, the, the headset, the controllers, the, the, uh, the lighthouses that I got. Like, the lighthouses I got up here. The lighthouse is actually just, just above me, so... Sorry I can't show you that to you, but the, but the he headset... It just... The graphics on here, the... The motion controllers, I have to admit, is actually really awesome. After one month of use, I have to say that it's actually it's been it's been a ride. You guys saw my videos, which are actually scheduled all the way to February seventeenth. <laughs> so yeah. So anyway, with the HTC Vive here, with the headset. I, I've been using the front-facing camera for live streams, as you guys saw, and uh, I've also used the uh, my regular camera for face-to-face -face videos. But I'm not using it at the moment because I'm actually because I'm actually on my couch. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the uh, controllers I have to admit they have some weight to them. After a while, you don't notice it. But it's, I, you definitely have it definitely def, it, this after a month of use. It feels like it's an extension of my hand when I go into the vibe. Like when I use them, it feels like I, it, they're they're the extensions of my hand. I know what to actually like do. Click on these little side buttons, or use the controller, or use use the trigger buttons, or just or just do that. I have to admit, they're really, really off. It's really, really accurate track of, and it feels like an extension of my hand. That's, but the one thing I don't like is this thing. If you're wondering, Winscar, what is this thing? It is the audio jack that, that was hooked up into the headset. The how I did this is that you have to push right here where it could where the uh, cables link up. You have to push where the edges and then just pull up and then you you're able to take out whatever like wherever like, you're able to take out or put in any USB or like USB extensions or USB like if you have a headset that needs to be connected to USB it's right there it's literally it's literally like right right here like just stick that little hole right there and then this this slip it this first slip it right through that and then just put some weight on it voila I have to admit this bothered me lots during when I was playing VR so I had to get I had to get rid of that little audio jack but it's still available to me if I need it. It's still available to me if I need it, but I don't need it because I got a nice wireless 7.1 surround sound headset that I have, so I don't really need it. That's why that's why I got rid of it. Just kept bumping me in the back of the head. Just every time I moved, it's like bump, 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 bump. It's like it's like okay, you know what? I'm tired of this. How do I get rid of this thing? <laughs> So if you ever need the also, I I had put it on other people's heads to see. No, I had to keep uh, adjusting the uh, adjusting the adjusting the strap for other heads that I had on this thing, just so people can actually enjoy the headset without having it fall off their head. Really, really easy to do. Really. Really amazing that it's that easy to. Is that easy just to. To uh, what's it called? Uh, just to adjust. 
I have noticed that after using playing Audio Shield or anything like soccer, soccer, sorry, goalkeeper VR or the Tatooine, like Trial of Tatooine or any activity game, I have to always take out this. I've always had to take out the uh, headsets. Uh, I've always had to take out this, the narrow face. Like I had to take out the uh, face, the face cushion, and just squeeze it out. It's to dry. It's to dry it out. I was. I would recommend you actually just run it through some water, and then just put on a paper towel. It cleans it off. It it does. It keeps it nice and fresh. And then once it's dried off, just put it right back on the headset. That easy. I'm just gonna put it right back. It's that easy. Just uh, place on and place off. I know it seems like I'm in trouble. I'm struggling now, but usually it's, I don't struggle this much. Just like that. I have noticed that I had to clean off the, I had to clean out, I used my, uh, I have noticed that the lenses get dirty fast. After a month of use, I had to clean it off about like five times every time I used it. Well, every time I used it, um, I noticed like a little bit of uh, that, a little bit of speck, so I just clean it off, and so I just grab, uh, where's my cleaning cloth here? So I just grab a cleaning cloth, like any cleaning, anything any cleaning cloth will do, um, but ACC does send you a, uh, a cleaning cloth, but in this case, they didn't send me a cleaning cloth for some stupid, uh, some, for some stupid reason. They didn't send, the one that came in the box did not come in the box. So I used, I, I'm using this, and I just give it a nice clean before every time I use a video. Or every time I do like a uh, HTC, or every time I do a video or go on VR, I just give the lenses a bit of a clean. So, yeah, the tra the tracking of the headset it was pretty bad when I first started. As you guys saw in my first videos, the tracking was horrifying. So what I have done was I t grabbed the. Uh, so what I done is I grabbed the uh, the uh, sync cable for my. Uh, so I, what I did was I grabbed the sync cable and I just connected it to both lighthouses, and it works. And the track tracking was a lot better. If you have guys, if you have any low like ceiling fan or or anything that's low on the uh, uh, hanging off the ceiling, please use. The audio, sorry, do you please use the sync cable because tracking will not work very well. Because then you're gonna you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> anyway, guys, this I I noticed after use this uh, headset, this part right here gets really really hot afterwards. So I would suggest you guys actually unplug it for a little while, let it cool off, because. If you if it if it's overheats, then you're not gonna have then the divide won't last for as long as you think it will. So after a month of use, I have to admit it's really good, really worth the money, and really worth the time that you have to put into it as well. So anyway, guys, I know this is a very I know this is a ten minute long video, but anyways, um, there's nothing else I can say about the vibe. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Uh, leave a like in the description below. And if you're new, slap that subscribe button. And I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, are enjoying my videos with the HTC Vive. And if you guys have any videos that are brand new, like any videos that are like new, actually, if you guys want me to do any games, just let me know in the comments below. 
and I will I will do it. Like I will play the games because to, to be honest, guys, I get no comments for you guys. I don't know, like I know you guys are watching, but I don't know what games you want me to play. Don't be shy. Just message me, and I'll I'll look at it and I'll go, yeah, I'll I, I'll I'll take in your suggestion, and I might have it in the next video, or well. Like I said, February 17th is my uh, upload time, but it will be pretty scheduled video so far. Anyway, guys, I hope you like this commentary. Uh, leave a like in the description below if you're new. Slap that subscribe button and also hit that bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Check out the end cards and I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, peace out!